Let's make some chicken ramen. Let's get it. Now, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with my ramen, right? So I discard the little package that come in here with the ramen, but we wanna make it just the way the ramen say make it, right? So I kinda like just give it a break and whatever happens, happens right there, right? So let's just go ahead and continue these. Let's hurry up and get these in here because these cook very, very fast, right? So let's just take this out, right? Give it a little, let's see, there we go. You wanna make it just the way uh, the package says, right? These right here say, you know, do it in two cups of water. Since I'm gonna do three, we got six. Now remember I tell you, it only take like a couple of minutes, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and continue. This is what I started doing off camera. You know what I mean? You guys have seen this before. You know what I mean? I'm just preparing, you know, prepping, you know, my veggies that's going in there, right? I don't use a whole lot of veggies like that. You know what I mean? And then when I dice them, I dice them down. I wanna call this like a chop. Right, so let me just do it this way so you guys can see. You know what I mean? So I like them like this. I like them for them to have a little texture. You know what I mean? So obviously I got green, now I'm doing red. And then I got some carrots over there. Just make yourself some matchsticks. You know what I mean? That's usually what we call it. Maybe I should have put that on camera for you guys how to do it. Or maybe I should just make a video. How do I make certain things? You know what I mean? Just to help out. So I'm gonna just go ahead and just do two more. Okay, so after about two minutes, per the instructions on the bag, you know what I mean? I'm gonna take these, we're gonna bring them over here, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna shock them with that cold water, right? So I got a colander in here, got my cold water. Right, and now we stop it from cooking. One thing you don't want is no mushy, nasty, you know, ramen. Now, listen, we don't want these to as we getting everything together, we don't want to use a stick, right? So what do we do? We take a little bit of olive oil, you know what I mean, just a little bit, you know what I mean, and then mix it. Make sure a little olive oil gets on it all. This will prevent it all from, you know, sticking. You want it to be able to be like this. These will cook just right. I went right at two minutes and hurry up and took them out. You know what I mean? Because the main thing is you don't want them to be mushy, folks. But look at these right here. Very inexpensive meal to make. You know what I mean? Especially if you, for those of you guys that got them gardens out there, you already grew some of the veg vegetables. You know, before I go on, I just want to like pan over some of these ingredients right here, right? Don't let this overwhelm you. Some of these things you have and some of these things that you're going to buy, you're going to keep because we're going to continue to make these, right? Now, the full printable recipe is on my website, smokingandgrillingwithab.com, and that's W-I-T-A-B.com. And listen, if you're new here, go ahead and subscribe and hit the like button for this video and let me know that this is what you like to see, and I'm going to have a lot more of this, you know, easy, simple recipes, and please don't let, like, the quantity of things that you see, you know, deter you. Now, I want to show you this. I got, listen, I've already cut down the head of broccoli, right, and just got me some flutes. You know what I mean? I'm gonna go ahead and just add everything here. And I'm gonna show you why. You guys will see why in just a minute. You know, once I start putting it in there. Now today I'm gonna be using my wok. I don't use it that often. You know what I mean? Uh, not for like Asian dishes. I use it more for like, sometimes it's like my go-to pot. You know, you know, just to make whatever. So listen, I'm gonna put this over here. So I got my green bell pepper, my red bell pepper, and then I got my matchsticks, right? of my carrot, and then you, you guys already had saw that I had, uh, what was that? I had my broccoli flutes, or florets. Let's call them that. Now, these are over here like that. This just simplifies it, I just put it all over here, right? Now we're getting ready to move over, move on to, excuse me, we're getting ready to move on to, you know, cutting down our chicken, right? So I'm gonna put my bowl right here. You wanna cut these down into bite-sized pieces, right? So I'm gonna cut it down. Any of this little stuff like this, you know, I just put it over here, kind of like just trim it up. Now I elected to use boneless, skinless chicken thighs because I like the fact that, you know, dark meat is very, very flavorful. Not only is it flavorful, right? But it's tender. You know, it takes a little bit more than just the regular breast meat. Because when you do breast meat, your temperature when it's fully cooked is what? That's right, it's 165, but here, it's going to be 170, 172 works, you know what I mean? Uh, so at 165, I'm going to show you what we do. Right about 160, I'm going to move on to something else, right? So what you want to do is cut these down into even pieces. Now, the reason we try to get them all about the same size is because once we put hit this in this wok, once we put it in there, we want all of the chicken to be, you know, be 
fully done and cooked at the same time. So I got them like this because they're going to kind of like tighten up a little bit and be about a little, they'll be a little bit smaller. But this is what you want, folks. Now, you can make this with breast meat. Yes, you can. You know what I mean? Uh, just remember, 165, and once you can verify that that's done, then you know your chicken is uh, fully cooked. You want to have a bowl that's going to be big enough, right, to get all of your chicken in. And then we got to, you know, mix up some seasonings, and then we want to go ahead and, like, you know, let it marinate, right? So the other bowl, I felt like it was a little bit tight. And it's up to you how much you put in here, right? But you can see, I like them about this size. As you see, once we get them into the wok, they're gonna shrink a little bit, right? So first thing we're gonna do is come with our black pepper. Right, and I'm gonna give it just a couple of pinches of salt. This is kosher salt, by the way coarse grind, a little cornstarch, and soy. Now I'm gonna get in here with this other hand. We're just getting ready to move this around just like you see, folks. You wanna make sure all of it is coated. Then once you got it, you know, coated well, it'll get a little tacky on you. You know that that's that cornstarch and that soy doing its thing, right? So now I'm gonna set this off to the side. We're gonna let that marinate just for a second. Let me clean up my station. Now we're finna hit the wall. All right, so look, I set it up like this because this is what we're getting ready to do. We're gonna need a little oil to get started. We got our veggies right here. We got some ginger powder right here. And then we have some garlic cloves right here, right? So first thing I'm finna do is let's put some heat under this wall. You know what I mean? I'm gonna start with like a medium high flame. Put that down. We're gonna go ahead and add some of this extra virgin olive oil. This is infused, by the way. You know what I mean? There we go. Now, you know how I put the extra virgin olive oil in here? You know what I mean? But you know you guys can use, excuse me, you guys can use sesame oil. You know what I mean? Get that just to start it off. I did a little mix right now, just in between this little cut. That right there is starting to look right, right? So the first thing I'm getting ready to do is, I like to use, the, use my, uh, I like to start off with using, you know, doing my garlic. But I'm gonna go ahead and start with my, look, I'm gonna start with my matchsticks first. My carrots, folks. Cause they gonna need to break down just a little bit more. You know what I mean? So here we go. And then when I have something like a bed in there, that's when I like to bring in my garlic, right? So we just move this in like this, right? Real simple. If you guys never ever used a walk before, you can know this works fine. You know the same thing in like a big, big pan, big saucepan, right? This smells incredible. Just adding a little bit of that sesame oil to it, did it. Right now, I'm gonna go ahead and bring in my green bell peppers. It's okay if some, you know, something else gets in there. It's all gonna get in here ultimately. But the carrots are just a little bit on the thicker side, so I start with those. Right, and the key is when you're using the wok, you know what I mean, just to keep it moving, right? Right off the back, I can smell the bell pepper. You know what I mean? The aromatic that comes off of that, you can just smell it. Right, now I'm gonna come with my red. I don't really have an order, but I always start with my carrot, because it seems like carrot takes just a little bit more to break down. You know what I mean? Everything else catches right up to it. All right, so I can feel them. My carrots, they starting to soften up. You know what I mean? We don't want to break them all the way down, right? So I just move these right there to the middle. Now I'm going to go ahead, put a smile on my face and start adding myself a little garlic. All right, and now we let that garlic work. Now I'm getting ready to add, look at this. We bring that broccoli into the game. Now look at that. Right off the back, when you see this right now, you're saying, ooh, stir fry. Okay, so you see how this looks right here? That's looking good. The broccoli softens up really, really quick. Now, that's up to you, the texture, the, uh, the way you like your broccoli to be. I like mine to be a little bit more on the soft side. And if you feel like it's getting a little dry down there, you know what I mean? You can always just add yourself a little bit more of olive oil or sesame oil. Right? 
Now I'm gonna move everything over to the side and I'm getting ready to introduce my chicken. Now you guys can see that right there. Look, you can see the seasoning and everything that we put on there. This is what I'm talking about. Then again, like I said, if you feel like it needs a little bit more oil to it, you know what I mean? Just add yourself just a little bit, right? Let it heat up and let it work. Now we wanna make sure that our chicken gets to be what? At least 160 before we move over to the next stage. All right, so I've been moving this chicken around, keeping all of my veggies off to the side. I have not put my mushrooms in because I like mushrooms in mine too. You know what I mean? But look at the color right now. You can see that some of these, the bigger pieces, that all of it has shrunk. Has shrunk. You know what I mean? But just look at it. This is it. Now, the only way we're going to know if we got 160, we got to test it. Right? So I got my thermometer right here. Let me just go ahead and get one of these bigger pieces. Oh, yeah, that's 160. Oh, it's a 165 now. Let me just see what this is right here. 169. You know what I mean? So... And then we're going to continue to cook it too. So you see this down at the bottom? That's all cooked. That's all of the fine, everything that the seasoning that came off of our chicken, right? Check this out. Now I'm getting ready to come because I want to have a little texture. Just put a little onion in here. You know what I mean? Look at that. Right? A little onion. And then I'm using a white. Check this out. This is a white mushroom. You know? So now I'm gonna start mixing all of this in here like this together and let this cook down. Get those, you know, mushrooms together. Oh yeah. All right, so now you take everything that you have left and that's gonna be our sauce, right? I'm just giving this a little stir. Right? Now, we just, no particular order, let's just get it all in. I'm loving what I'm seeing. Everything is right where I want it to be. So now I'm gonna go ahead and add my sauce, right? We're gonna give this a mix. And the last thing we do is we add in our ramen. Then once you got everything, you know, mixed thoroughly, right? I like mine to be a little bit on the saucy side, right? So now we just do, what I'm doing is I'm separating some of this ramen and I'll be bringing it in here and just bring it into my dish just like this, right? Still got the heat on underneath the bottom, just mixing everything up. You'll see that it's not as saucy as you guys thought it was. And then once you got it completely mixed, I just turned off my fire, right? And look at that right there. We. Okay, so look, it seemed like it was a lot going on, but listen, once you make it, you get into the groove of uh, doing it, it's super simple to make, you guys. You know, uh, I'm getting ready to just go ahead and get me a bite of this. There's no need to talk, over talk this. You know what? Cheers, y'all. And I got a hefty mouthful right here. Mm. Ooh, my goodness. <clears throat> now listen, you can taste everything. You can like actually taste it and probably like pick it out. But it, it's like a hint of everything that makes like this powerful flavor, you know, like at the end. I really don't know how to describe it, but I can tell you this, once you make this, this is probably finna be your go-to till you get tired of it. Super easy to make too. I gotta say that. You haven't heard me say that the whole time. Listen, it's just your veggies, get them going, put them to the side, put your protein on the other side, you know, and go from there. Look, you could have did this with beef. You know what I mean? Obviously we did chicken. You guys wanna use ground products, you can do that too. This is yours. Let me know what you would do down in the comment section below. Other than that, listen, if you're new to this channel, let me just take this time to say, thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like, smash that subscribe button and tell everybody out here, Listen, there's a channel out here that's simplifying these recipes and taking the mystery out of cooking. Now, I had this little bowl because this is what I was going to get, but since we took pictures of that, I'm finna down this, y'all. I'm out. Peace.